see and it, um, Carrie yeah, Lake. And it, Carrie Lake, the monstrosity running for governor in your state, just denied it. Exactly. And you say she just so denied she made fun this. of. Yeah. It, like, do not believe you what know, you I saw mean, on tape, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm just, you know, when Scalise died, we all he felt the tragedy. He didn't die. He didn't I die. I just uh, was shot. Excuse right. me. When he was shot. You know, and I just, I can't get over the stupid bullshit. Oh, well, all right. Stupidity. Then. All right, okay. I felt like I felt that coming. I think she stopped she before. Stopped herself, oh, did she? she, she okay. Well, enough. she still gave me a heart attack. Yeah, it wasn't enough. Clear. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Now let's bring Bob in. Bob, hi. Speaking of BS, here I am. Hello. <laughs> no, we were just here saying we are. It. Carrie Lake just denied she was making fun of Paul yep. Pelosi. It's like we, this is where we are. She said the creatively edited. And I'm like, yeah. no, we saw it all in context nothing was edited about this that is where we are yeah. D- deny what you saw with yeah. your own eyes on tape right yeah and, and and you can guarantee what was happening behind the scenes is that's gonna drive the liberals crazy yeah and yeah. that's exactly why she yeah. did it that's yeah. why they do everything they do now yeah the republican platform orbits around one thing saying or doing whatever the hell they want with the, many times the specific intention of pissing off people like you and me. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's how, I that's they, no values, no policy platform. It's just own the libs, and yeah. that's mm-hmm. what they do these days. You know, days. we violated, I don't know if you heard the show yesterday, we violated the Bob Sessa don't get happy. We got happy. I mean, we did. But uh, you know what? You also remind us on Twitter. You said, I love how they're measuring the drapes, depressing their own turnout. Democrats aren't making the same mistake this year. So, yes, whatever drives turnout is what I'm for. Because you're right. Yeah. They're, like, that, way overconfident. Yeah, and that's why I felt okay with being optimistic about right. the midterms. Because right. I feel as though, uh, forgive the movie reference on this, but uh, I feel as though the Democrats have the eye of the tiger. That yeah. we're the... We're the scrappy underdogs in this. Weirdly, I mean, we control House of Representatives and the White House and, you know, half of the Senate. But at the same time, we understand the stakes of this. Meanwhile, Ted Cruz and the Republicans are going around acting as though they've already won, which is one, stupid and will depress their own turnout. Yeah. But two is actually setting them up for something more nefarious, which is what they will inevitably do if the democrats overperform as they appear to be doing so far in the early vote and that ends up being the ultimate result and the democrats keep congress then the republicans are going to say oh but the polls before said something different and now they want so the oh the election is rigged so now we're going to have a civil war that's why they're commissioning (laughs) so many polls as we talked about yesterday that are skewing the average so right they can go rigged fake news etc um let's talk about twitter because i look to you as my twitter (laughs) superhero um just to see what this whole charging for a blue check as you know we don't have one so Mm -hmm. (laughs) you 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 should have one yeah Yeah. you said elon pulls the trigger if he pulls the trigger on the stupid punitive verification plan i plan to stay but there's no way in hell i'm going to provide him with content for free you said will you uh, you were asking on twitter people will you pay elon Musk to keep your blue check and you said elon just turned the blue check into a scarlet letter signifying willingness to pay him for the alleged privilege of providing him with content which he'll monetize with ads youtube pays you for your content on twitter you pay elon for your content i won't be doing us doing it yeah Uh, yeah Yeah. give us your take on that i went through a whole evolution on this stephanie and it started with not being that concerned obviously there was a huge concern with someone like elon musk taking over twitter and i was a little bit concerned but then he uh tweeted out that ridiculous conspiracy theory about paul pelosi's attack right and and so then then i was like oh f this guy And then the next thing that came along is this idea to monetize blue checks, which then puts us all, those of us who have blue checks, puts us in this terrible position. On one hand, we either lose our blue check, we don't pay Elon Musk, we lose our blue check, and then we become suddenly vulnerable again to imposters and sock puppet accounts and fraud. I mean, especially fraud. I mean, if you think that uh, people losing their blue checks doesn't affect you personally, Well, what can happen is very easily someone can masquerade as Stephanie Miller on Twitter and say, hey, go support my GoFundMe. And then everyone goes and runs over to support Stephanie Miller's GoFundMe when it's not really Stephanie Miller. No one wants to pretend to be. Yeah. Trust me. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right. Well, that's that's the one side. On the other hand, if you pay Elon Musk his eight dollars, you know, for free speech. Right. 
you you end up uh, having this scarlet letter. You end up right. becoming a pariah. You're the person who genuflected before Elon Musk's right. uh, cruel whimsy or whatever the hell he's doing right now. Right. And so that's so obviously I'm not paying for my blue check. If he wants to take away my blue check, he can effing have my blue check. Right. Uh, I'm right. just going to deal without it. You know. Right. 